Called a minimally invasive parathyroidectomy, the surgery removes the abnormal parathyroid gland or glands. Luckily, innovative techniques allow us to offer very minimally invasive surgery with minimal scarring. The surgery focuses only on the abnormal glands without disrupting the surrounding tissue or the remaining normal glands. Traditional surgical approaches involved a large incision and exploration of both sides of the neck. Today, a minimally invasive parathyroidectomy requires only a small incision. Dr. Larian has great expertise in performing minimally invasive parathyroidectomy. He uses a small incision. The surgery is generally less than 20 minutes and can be performed under local anesthesia. The process begins by pinpointing the affected glands using localization scans. Identifying the affected glands is key because in 20% of cases, the glands may not be in their normal location. Next, intraoperative PTH testing is done to measure the starting amount of parathyroid hormone. We start the surgery by making a small incision and a skin crease in the lower neck, usually measuring less than 2 centimeters. We'll separate the muscles over the thyroid, exposing the thyroid, and then go to the side of the enlarged abnormal parathyroid gland. We find the recurrent laryngeal nerve and protect it. After that, we'll find the enlarged parathyroid, find it, the blood vessels feeding it, and tie or clip them. Then we'll remove the enlarged parathyroid, and then 10 minutes later, we'll get a sample of PTH. Because the half-life of PTH is less than five minutes, after 10 minutes, the PTH level should go down significantly. Once that's done, we'll know the surgery has been successful. Post-intraoperative PTH testing is done because 10 to 15 percent of people have more than one gland that is abnormal. When PTH levels remain high after one enlarged gland is removed, Dr. Larian knows that another abnormal gland is present. Once located, the second gland is removed and rapid PTH testing is redone to confirm the success of surgery. PTH testing is vital to ensure the problem is resolved completely and to confirm the surgery is a success before it's deemed complete. After surgery, since the small incision is placed into an existing skin crease, the advanced plastic surgery closure technique leaves hardly any scarring. The majority of patients feel relief of symptoms within the first 72 hours. Overall, a minimally invasive parathyroidectomy focuses on a small scar, minimal pain, minimal tissue trauma, less blood loss, and a fast recovery. Is parathyroid surgery right for you? Everyone should be evaluated by an expert. Parathyroid surgery increases quality of life. For more information, contact the Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery at 310 Four six one zero three hundred or parathyroidmd.com.